What's up guys, this is Ronnie from Canva and I'm here with a special guest today. Her name is Diana. She's one of our CCCs, our Canva certified creative. And today she will be running the show, not me. Thank you for tuning in and welcome to another Canva tutorial special CCC edition. Diana, welcome to the show. Tell us, what are we going to learn today with you? Hello Ronnie, thanks for having me. Uh, today we're going to learn how to create a simple website with Canva. All right, thank you for that Diana. And I agree with you, creating website with Canva is extremely easy. And because you seem to be so knowledgeable about this, uh, I would like you to teach us how to do it. So for this, I'd love to give you a little bit of a, of a challenge, of a situation. Uh, let's imagine you are a psychologist, right? And you've been affected by having to work from home like everybody else. And so you want to continue to help your patients, but you cannot receive them in your practice anymore because they cannot come. How would you promote your activity? How would you transition from offline to online? So let's imagine you have to create that simple website. You don't have much knowledge. You don't have the resources to pay for a developer or even for uh, like building a WordPress is too complicated. So how would you create a simple website with Canva to promote your services as a psychologist? I would love to see you do that. Uh, so can you can you show us? Sure, Ronnie. So here we are in my Canva account and I would like to show you guys how to create a website that looks good on desktop but also on mobile. Because nowadays people are using their mobile phones a lot and uh, we need to make sure that our website looks perfect on mobile devices. So for this, uh, I'm going to create my design as a mobile first first uh, presentation size. So here when I when I type mobile first, uh, Canva is suggesting this. I'm going to click here on this suggestion. So Canva is offering me here a different uh, variety of designs, but uh, what I'm going to do is to go for the blank option. I just need my design to have the perfect size for mobile. And before selecting the designs I want to use on this website, I need to have clear uh, all the pages that I'm going to need in this design. So I have this little list here next to me uh, so I can um, search for these different templates and take into consideration what I need to see or the information that I, I need to include into this page. So um, the first page is who am I? Uh, I think before the who am I, we need something like um, like a opening page, you know, like a presentation page that says maybe just your name and maybe your photo. So uh, what I'm going to do here is to browse through all these designs and um, identify a design that uh, can be used into the first page. So as I said, I would like to have a photo and maybe a text box where we can include um, the name of the psychologist. So I think I like this one. I'm going to click here and see all the different designs. Maybe another of these designs can work. Uh, but no, I think I will go for the first um, design and you can either click here or you can drag the design to the page. I'm just going to click. And now my design is on this page. Um, actually, I I can see that this photo has an effect or a filter adjustment. Let me see the filter. It doesn't have a filter, but I think it has some adjustments. Yeah. So I'm going to reset these adjustments because um, I don't like them so much. Um, next thing, um, if you are going to create a website, uh, I would like you to already have a set of photos selected for this project. 
In my case, I already have a couple of photos here in my uploads and I'm going to use them here in my design. So it's really useful to have them uploaded into Canva because then you can just drag your photos and put them on your designs. So uh, to understand how this page is going to be seen on desktop, I will suggest you to uh, go here to this button and click on this little arrow and then go to website. Before editing or before putting photos into the design, before doing anything, I would like you to see how this is working on desktop because uh, sometimes you will um, do some changes. Uh, put some photos there and then when you see how it looks on desktop you have to go back and do everything again so uh, to in order for this website to be um, responsive for this to look good on desktop and mobile we are going to select this second option you see here the website style presentation scrolling uh, classic navigation standard we are going to go for scrolling so let's click here and open website now canva is uh, giving us this link and we just uh, copy the link and paste it into our browser or open website going to go for this button open website and this is how this is going to look on desktop so if i were to upload uh, any of these photos like for example this one oops okay so i just dragged it and uh, put it on the background here on this design uh, inside canva it looks fine but if we go to the desktop uh, view and i refresh the page you will see that it looks kind of weird so uh, that's why i would like you to view this design uh, first before doing any changes so this is already giving me an idea of what i shouldn't be doing with this design so i'm going to go back and as you see this photo it's uh, going to be adjusted or is going to be or it's going to fit the whole page so uh, i think instead of putting my photo into the background i will go to photos here on the left menu going to open this tab and I'm going to search for a nice background uh, let's try to um, I already searched by this keyword mountains let's uh, go for mountains and I'm going to select one of these photos for my background so I already uh, I think I like this option it looks very uh, calm and I think maybe for a psychologist uh, this can work <laughs> and um, let's see uh, here on the desktop view how it looks I'm going to reload this page to see the changes and yeah I think I I kind of like it um, I think it has some blue shades and some greens here that I think maybe we can um, adjust so it has a more uh, neutral color palette I would like this website to have more neutral colors so to change the colors of this photo in the background I'm going to click here and then go to the effects button now I'm going to uh, search here in the duotone effects and um, as I said, I want to have more like a sepia colors or more neutral colors. So I'm going to search for a duotone that can look good on this design. So let's go for classic. Let's see how it looks. Um, I think this brown can work with the color of the font and this color here let's go for sepia and see how it looks too yeah i think any of these can work let's go for classic 
and uh, let's continue uh, customizing this page. I think uh, what we are missing here, of course, is the psychologist photo, right? So um, we already used the photo that is going in the background. Let me reload this page to see the changes on the photo. Uh, I think I like it. I think it, uh, it looks fine. But yeah, we are missing the, the psychologist photo. Uh, what I'm going to do is to go to elements and I'm going to use a frame. I'm going to click here on this arrow or maybe let's go to see all so we can see a view so we can have a view of all the different frames here. Um, I think I'm going to go for this asymmetrical frame and I'm going to position it here make it a little bit smaller and um, as I already told you I already uploaded my photos here into Canva I'm going to search for my photos and I'm going to drag one of them here into this frame so let's uh, drag this one here and I'm going to double click to adjust this photo into the frame and when I'm done I'm going to click here on this done button Okay, so now we have our <laughs> first page of the website. Of course, you can customize here um, these titles. You can put uh, your slogan or your name or anything that comes to mind. You can also change the fonts and the font and the color of the fonts, the size, everything you can customize here in uh, Canva. Uh, but for this exercise, I just would like to explain how to create a layout and how to create all these different pages. So what is the second page I need to create? Who am I? I'm going to create a new page here and now, um, okay, I'm going to delete this uh, background and now I'm going to go again to the templates tab. Now I'm going to search for the template that I already used and see if any of these pages can uh, be used for our I am page. Uh, what I'm seeing here is that I will need to be doing the same effect of uh, having a background photo and then a photo on top as I understand this um, these uh, designs I can try with this one let me see and I will go to my uh, link my website link and reload to see the second page so yeah so they are using background photos for this and yeah why not we can use this one or I can go and actually mix uh, two different um, designs I think these uh, two designs have something in common uh, kind of like similar colors similar fonts so maybe we can include one of these pages into this design so who am I uh, who am I page <laughs> I think um, maybe we can use this page let's uh, put this design here and um, let me copy this and uh, as you see here uh, all these different um, text boxes or text box are grouped and if I move one of them all of them are moving at the same time so um, I actually like to work with these items or these elements uh, ungroup so let's ungroup them because I think I won't need all of these different boxes. Let's delete them and let's uh, put the title of this page here. Who am I? And uh, of course you can change this text. You can put uh, a really interesting subtitle here. And um, I'm also going to use a Lorem Ipsum <laughs> text for this design. So I'm going just to copy this um, random text for the design and let me paste it here so this is basically a, a short description of who you are I'm going to position this here down below so I can have a little space for another photo um, I think I actually 
I'm going to change this color. Let me go back to the original uh, design that I selected uh, before for the first page. And what I would like to do is to use some of these uh, colors. I'm going to add a new page and let's drag this uh, design here. And I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use this tool, copy style and click on the background of this page. So like this, I just copied the color of this element into the background. I think what I'm going to do is to also change this, the color of this text for a darker color. So it has more contrast and I'm going to select the document colors here. So I'm going to click here and like that we have more contrast on this page. Okay, so let's delete this page. So I think I'm going to do the same process to add an image here. I'm going to elements and I'm going to select another asymmetrical frame. I'm going to select this one. And now I'm going to add a different photo. I don't want people to feel bored when they are watching, when they are looking at my website. So let's try one of these photos. Okay, let's uh, make it a little bit bigger so they can see your face really well. Done. And now your photo is on this new page. Okay, so let's see what is the next page. How can I help? Let's create a new page for this design and let's go for the templates. I'm going to close this uh, set of slides and I'm going back to this um, other set of slides. Um, I think I really liked this um, previous uh, layout and I would like to use it on this new page. I'm going to click here and I'm going to select again uh one of the document colors for the background so we don't have this dark brown on this page I'm going to click here uh, maybe let's use a different color a different one from the previous page maybe this uh, more beige color and let's change the color of the text so i think we need to ungroup this um set of boxes because if not we won't be able to change the color of them at the same time so ungroup and now that they are ungrouped we can change the color of the text for a darker one and there is this little line that is the same color as the background and let's change it for this uh, darker color so uh, this new page is how can i help Let's change the title. And of course, you can add here your optimized copy. So you can explain people uh, your different services or different kind of um, consultations that you can uh, give them. And yes, you can also maybe put some photos if you would like to. Or in this case, so we don't have a very monotone uh, website. I think we can add a different background to this page. So let's go to photos. We can go to photos or we can go to background. In this case, I think I will go for photos and I'm going to search for plant because I want this website to have a very mm, calm and natural feel to it. So I'm going to uh, try to find a photo that is landscape mode. So it looks good on desktop, but also on mobile. Mm, let me look for something interesting here. And I think I will go for this image here. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on the photo. So it goes directly to the design, to this page. And now what I'm going to do is to add an effect. So let's go here to effects and I'm going to add a duotone. I'm going to do the same, uh, the same effect that we did on the first page or 
No, actually this time I will go for sepia. Let's go for this option and apply. Now uh, I'm going to delete the color of the background. I'm going to select the background and click on this icon. And I'm going to make this image really big so it, it's covering the background. And let's position it in the center. Okay, so let me lock this page, this image, and let's see how it looks on desktop. So I'm going back to my website and I'm going to reload the page. Okay, so this is, I'm going to wait until it loads. Okay, so it's looking fine. Uh, we need to change this, of course, the text. Okay, who am I? I actually like that it has like some movement. I don't know if you notice. Let's see on this next page. I know it doesn't have the movement, but on this page it had. Okay, let me reload again. Let me see um, again if it has a uh, movement. Let's see the photo that is coming on the second page. See, <laughs> it has like a fader effect. Okay, and now how can I help? Okay, this is it's taking, uh, it's taking shape. I think what I'm going to do actually is that I'm going to add the sepia effect on this first image so everything has kind of like the same color palette because i think this one looks very cold okay so let's go back to the first page and i'm going to photos and recently used we used this photo for the background of the first page and i'm going to drag again the photo on the background i'm going to do the same effect uh, the same process effects and I'm going to select the duo tone with the sepia or sepia um, duo tone. Okay, let's click here and apply. Okay, I think this is uh, having more or less the same uh, color palette, same uh, colors. And uh, let's continue with this design. Okay. So the next uh, page is how to reach me and in this same page I'm going to add a call to action so people can contact you on your messenger or WhatsApp. So uh, let's uh, add a new page and let's unlock this background image and delete it because we won't need it. Uh, I'm going again to templates and uh, I was thinking that maybe I can use a page like this one because uh, how to reach me um, maybe you can add something like uh, if you are creating videos for YouTube maybe you can add a link to your YouTube channel or if you are creating videos on Instagram or any other social media you can add them here and people can reach out to you uh, via this social media and also they can reach out to you via messenger or uh, WhatsApp so uh, let's say that we are going to add a link to YouTube and a link to um, so people can contact you directly to your WhatsApp. So um, how to reach me? Okay, let's change the title. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm going to use, um, let's delete this one. This with this one, and as I said, uh, we were going to use YouTube. And uh, what I would like to do is to ungroup these uh, two um, text box and click here on alignment so these um, text box are aligned to the center. And I'm going to put this icon on the center. Let me move this a little bit like here or like this. And uh, because this is not an YouTube icon, let's try to find an element that is a YouTube icon. Let's see if we find something similar to this. So in this case, I didn't find um, 
an icon that looks exactly like this one this one is like a flat icon and these icons that I see here they have shadows and they have lines so it's not the same style as this one and I want this same style uh, just to have some consistency along the website uh, so I'm going to create my own icon I see here that this element is flat and I hope I can change the color of it so I can create my icon yeah, I can change the color here and uh, because this um, icon is really simple, I can kind of like uh, uh, recreate it. I'm going to um, also add an element shape, this circle. And for the circle, I'm going to give it this color. I'm going to go to copy style and paste it on the circle. and for um, this YouTube icon, I'm going to position it forward in front of this circle and I'm going to give the same color as the background. So I'm going to click on the background, click on copy style and paste on this YouTube icon. So as you can see here, I already have something uh, with a similar style as the uh, Facebook icon. And I'm going to group these two elements. So when I'm moving uh, this uh, icon from one side to the other, both elements come together at the same time. So I'm going to position my new icon on top. Let's delete this Facebook one. And let's put this YouTube uh, icon here. So how to reach me? Let's say YouTube and you can tell people that uh, Maybe you, they can reach out to you via the comments on your videos or if it's Instagram, you can, uh, people, they can send you a message. Let's just uh, give a short explanation and I'm going to add the link to my YouTube channel to this um, text box. Let's put an underline and to the icon. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to copy my URL. So let's copy. Here is my YouTube channel. And I'm going to click on my icon. And as you see here on this menu, we have a link icon. Let's click here on the link icon and paste your URL. Apply. And let's do the same for this text box where it says YouTube. Let's paste the URL and apply. Now uh, I would like to also have, let's delete this uh, text box and let's use these two, pay, two text boxes and uh, we can either um, press the key Alt and drag these two elements to duplicate them or you can select them and duplicate with this button. So let's uh, drag these elements here. And we said that uh, people can also contact you via WhatsApp or actually uh, I had here add a CTA or a call to action. So book a consultation. So let's uh, add this here. book a consultation and contact uh, me he contact me via whatsapp okay so i was thinking that actually we can add a, an element that looks like a button here um uh, let's see here in shapes see all and let's add this element i would like to um, have something that looks kind of like a button so i like these um, rounded corners let's click here and let's uh, do a button so i'm going to create a button here let's uh, try to make it a little bit smaller and going to 
change the color for a one of the document colors let me see what can look fine here let's use this one and now i'm going to duplicate this element and position to the back now i'm going to give it a dark color oops position backward okay so now we have a, a shape or a group of shapes that look kind of like a button so book a consultation and now how do we add a whatsapp or a link that directs people to whatsapp okay so here uh, i have an article of whatsapp you can go to this uh, link and uh, basically here they explain how to create your own link so people can contact you via whatsapp uh, they explain here that you can use this format so you can just copy this and add your phone number at the end so you need to add uh, your full phone number in international format uh, omit any zeros brackets or dashes when adding the phone uh, number in international format so i'm just going to use this example here and copy this link let's go to my design and what i'm going to do is to group all these elements and i'm going to select this big uh, element here this rectangle and i'm going to add the link here paste whatsapp link i can also uh, take this text box copy and paste here to this text box so we can have the underline and why not let's add this new uh, whatsapp link here okay so here we have uh, how to reach me they know where to go they know that you have a youtube channel and they can also book a consultation from this page and lastly if you are creating a uh, content or if you would like to give something for free to the people that go to your website you can create an additional page to your freebies so let's um, create one page for this let's add a new page let's delete the background and let's go to templates uh, let's see what we have here i saw this page and i think it can be interesting let's uh put it here into our design and uh, let's change the title let's ungroup this let's change the title so we know that we have here like a free let's say free tutorials oh yeah you can give it the name that you wish you can also change of course here the description and i'm going to change this um, icon here i'm going to delete it actually and let's say that we want to add a free um, tutorial or lesson or whatever that you have on your youtube channel i'm going here to my menu on the left bar i'm going to click here on more and i'm going to add a video I'm going to embed a video on this website. I'm going to go here to YouTube and uh, let's uh, try to search something that I have done. So, Diana Munoz Canva. And in this case, yeah, I have my Canva tutorials here. So, let's add one of these. Let me try to find something interesting. So, let's put this one here i just click on top of the video and now the video is ready to use on my page on the design uh, that i'm working on and uh, you can change the size of the video if you like and you can change the position and that will be it uh, i think there is something else that i would like to change on this design and it's the photo uh, at the background uh, I would like to keep the same aesthetic as the other pages and yeah let's go for something um, 
related to nature. So let's go back to the photos and let's go search for clouds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I see um, if you see here this cloud photo, it's uh, looking quite different than the, the one in the background. So I think there is something going on here in this uh, background image. Let's see if there is some transparency. No. So I think maybe there is a filter or adjustment. Yeah. So we have some adjustments here on this photo and that's why it's looking kind of like a, a sepia pinkish color. But to um, have more consistency in this website, I'm going to reset these adjustments. I know it was uh, looking uh, looking fine, but I want to be very consistent. So let's go to effects and I'm going to add the same duotone we've been using uh, for this project. That is this sepia color or sepia duotone. Let's click here and let's apply. I'm also going to change this, uh, this pink color on these two pages because the other pages, uh, in the other pages we were using two different uh, colors and I want to keep, um, I want to be consistent with those colors. So I'm going to click here on the background and let's see the document color. So I can either select, uh, I think this one or any of these two. So yeah, I think this color is the same as this one. Yeah, let's do that and for this one, let's see, I can actually use a lighter color. So yeah, that's it. I think uh, maybe I can also go back to the lines and change the colors. I think this one is working fine, but maybe this one can be a white color or a beige color. And this uh, can also be beige just to have more contrast and let's see let's see i think we we are done with this website let's see how it looks let's go back to our website uh, link let's reload and let's see how it's looking okay so this is the home page and then when we scroll down we see who am i how can I help services? You can also include some photos here if you wish and how to reach me. When people click here, they will go directly to your YouTube channel or any other link that you uh, included here. And they can also contact you uh, via WhatsApp. I will show you how it looks on phone, on mobile and then free tutorials. And here, as you can see, we can actually watch our videos. So let's click here and here it is our video. Okay, so this is the final look of this website. Let's uh, scroll down to see how it looks. Of course, you will uh, change the text, the copy of this website and upload your own photos and customize it so it is uh, perfect for your business. But uh, what I wanted to show you uh, to end or to finalize this tutorial is that you can actually take this link and uh, copy and share with your clients or whoever who needs to see this website, but also you can go to bit.ly.com. Let's go to bit.ly and uh, go here to create, paste your long URL here because yeah, this URL will be very difficult to remember if you want to share with your friends or your clients or whoever. Uh, I think this will be kind of difficult to remember. You can actually delete this um, link here and add a customized uh, text here. So you can add your name or something that is easy to remember. And then uh, let's say, for example, here, so 
psychologist test web. So let's say psychologist test web and let's save. And now you can only like copy this link, paste it on your URL. So bit.ly slash psychologist test web. You enter and you have access to your website. So you can actually put this bit.ly link on your YouTube channel or any other social media that you created or I don't know, on banners or anywhere that you would like to communicate this website. So yeah, this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you find this uh, tutorial very useful that you learn new skills. And uh, going back to you, Ronnie. Wow, Diana, that was amazing. I, I mean, you covered it all in this tutorial. You went through uh, all the pages that they need, but also like watching you do it seems so easy indeed. So I'm, I'm, I'm really confident that our viewers are like receiving all this value in this video. And I really encourage you if you need a website to kind of rewind or replay this episode and follow Diana's step because she's delivering real value in there. So Diana, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to doing this with us for us. Um, I was impressed, like I learned a few things even in your tutorial and I have created a fair, bench, fair, fair bunch of Canva websites as well. Uh, I love that trick about the WhatsApp button. Uh, I didn't know about that, so that was amazing. Uh, thank you so much, like this was great. Um, tell us a little bit, like where can people learn more about you? Like if they want to connect with you or maybe watch more of your tutorials, your Canva tutorials or Instagram, to, like, how, how can we learn more about you? Ah, yes, uh, people can learn about me if you go to my website, dianamunos.co, C-O, uh, you will have access to my social media right here. Uh, I also have a YouTube channel, uh, which is in Spanish, but if you go to my channel here on the right uh, hand side you will see this recommended channel designed with canva uh, in this channel you will find a lot of videos that i create in english so if you are interested you can come here uh, check out the playlists and you will find my playlist over here all right so you heard it guys you can check out diana's website or her channels uh, connect with her she will be happy to um, to know you she will be happy to answer your questions I'm sure and that's it for me that is a wrap Diana thank you so much I really appreciate you taking the time and I'm sure our viewers would appreciate too bye Diana and bye to you guys I will see you in the next episode